Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a live update from my hotel room Friday, April 11th, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. Don't miss it. The full pink moon rises tomorrow around 8 p.m. And tonight's moon was spectacular. Keep calm. It's boom time. Active weather in the eastern U.S. with warm weather and critical fire weather across portions of the west. A storm system will pivot across the Carolinas and mid-Atlantic and northeast U.S. into Saturday with areas of heavy rainfall, wintry precipitation as possible in high parts of the interior New England. Dry conditions and gusty winds will bring elevated to critical fire weather today over the northern high plains. Then critical fire weather is forecast in the desert southwest and high plains Saturday. Frost and freeze warnings out for the center of the U.S. here, east of the Mississippi. So make sure you protect your sensitive plants. And high wind warnings out in the pink. Also looks like quite a weak weather pattern in the coming days. There's that system on the east coast here. Just move it through three, six, nine hours. By tomorrow, that's going to be offshore. Not much happening across the U.S. Some slight activity in the northern tier through Monday into Tuesday here, but not much going on. In the big picture, it looks like by the time we reach the end of April here, some big things could be happening in the West with some heavy spring snow. Ho, ho, ho. Much needed indeed. Seismic update. Let's take a look here. We did have some rumblers today, and we do have a coronal hole stream now affecting Earth. A 5.0 in Japan. Some activity here in Papua New Guinea, 5.2. As the activity uh, in California continues on the San Andreas Fault, we're hoping everything stays quiet there. As you can see, my cozy little room here. And terrible lighting, as well as a terrible microphone. I apologize for that. Worldwide Volcano News for the day. Ibu puffing and passing. Reventador as well. Semadu, who knew? Now you do. Biwa Toby to 8,000. We've got Ducono Volcanian size explosions persisting there. Kruchiskov, 20,000 foot blast today. Sangay to 21,000 foot. Ducono to 8,000. Ibu on the list, Liwatobi to 8,000. Liwatolo, 7,000 foot puff today. Nevada de Ruiz, 20,000 feet. Possible volcanic ash at Reventador. Poas on the list today. Semadu uh, erupting today, as well as Sangay. Liwatobi to 10,000 feet. Bezamiani on the list with a 20,000 foot blast. Kluchiskov, 20,000 foot blast. Things are heating up in volcano world. We've got Raventador to 15,000 foot, Liwa Tol to 7,000 feet, Ibu on the list, huge list today, Liwa Tobi to 10,000 feet, Nivado de Ruiz wrapping up the list, Semadu, 15,000 foot blast actually for tomorrow. Quick look at space weather, and we have had some increasing flaring as a sunspot region that is turning away from Earth is growing. Active region 4055 has been flaring. As we suggested the other day, that when this region reached the limb, we're going to get some activity there, and it certainly looks like that's happening now. Nothing significant, no Earth-directed CMEs. Uh, KP currently up above four, as we do have an accentuated, it looks like the BZ pushed south here. Other than that, nothing much going on. Tomorrow's full moon is called the pink moon. Why is it called that? Well, because any pink flock which means to be tiny once it's way above your head. The pink moon will peak on Saturday, April 12th at 8.22 p.m. It looks full tonight, and it'll look full tomorrow, and it'll look full the next day. You get this 72-hour window of appearing to look full. The old farmer's almanac calculator based on your location. The moon will not appear pink. April's full moon is called the pink moon. Womp womp. It won't actually be pink. What 
uh, just referred to as the pink creeping fox. Nothing creepy at all about that. And nothing creepy at all. Well, in this case, the moon is actually pink. So get out tomorrow and look up, or even tonight. Scientists have an explosive plan to terraform Mars, and it's, well, literally explosive. And it won't bode well if Elon Musk is up there um, building bases. What they want to do here in this concept is to grab objects from the Kuiper belt and steer them in towards Mars and have them smash into the surface, thereby creating an atmosphere and bringing in much needed minerals from the objects themselves. Well, that sounds a little crazy to me. Cave guide enters unknown passage for the first time and makes an ancient discovery. This is in the Guido Mountains of southern Mexico. A young cave guide, Adrian Beltran Dimas, met up with several others in the fall of 2023 to an explore a cave that had already been looked at. But this is the Tleyokok cave system that had, it had been explored before according to an April 9th news release from the National Institute of Anthropology and History. They quickly reached the bottom of the cave, um, but noticed a submerged passageway that no one else had noticed. The unknown tunnel had never been explored, so the two cavers decided to take a leap of faith, and it led to another room. In fact, with century-old artifacts laying there in perfect preservation in the form of seashell bracelets which are intricately carved. Absolutely fantastic, mind-blowing, and spectacular. All the links will be below. What else do we got? Oh, have you seen the markets have recovered? Dow Jones up 600 today. Gold hit an all-time high for 2002. Plus, unique and precious metals. Precious metals are for the last year to reach all is why we partnered with Goldco, the industry leader from Precious Metals, Precious Metal IRAs to direct purchases of gold and silver. The gold-silver ratio is up over 101. So silver is the way to go, in my opinion, but this is not financial advice. It's just based on the fact that you get a lot more with silver for your money. Go to diamondlovesgold.com or click the link below for your free gold kit. There's no obligation. There are no penalties to switch over your current IRAs or 401ks to precious metals, which is the, a bonus indeed. So check out Gold Co. Hedge your bets and get into the pink with the rest of us, for goodness sakes. Look at those numbers. And that is a boom to knowledge. Please share the video. Well, we are in the San Luis Valley for the San Luis Valley Seed Exchange all weekend. Follow us for updates on the Seed Exchange itself and other cool stuff. Alien, Alan, and I went out to see the cart ruts, and we'll be posting some videos from that in the near future. So be safe. We love you. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and do all those fun YouTube things. And hopefully we'll see you at the Seed Exchange. Be safe. We love you. Mew, mew.